Taylor. I'm Susan. And, and we're, we're the Babushka sisters. sisters. Here we are, we're at Three Way Thrift Store, one of our most favorite thrift stores. I love Three Way Thrift. They always have a coupon, though we forgot ours today. We forgot our coupons <laughs> again. They have, always have a great supply of furniture. You could come every day of the week and they'll have something new here. But don't tell anybody about it, please. No. It's our secret thrift store. Secret store in SoCal. <laughs> Today we're challenging each other to be creative any way we want. We've got a $10 budget. We do not have a budget for the supplies that we're going to use to flip. We're actually here with our kids. I've got my three kiddos. I got my three-year-old son. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun. But <laughs> we're gonna Thrifting try. Thrifting with children while trying to flip. We can do it. We can make a profit with our kids involved. piece for a little girl's room, maybe turn it into a little stove top, do a kitchen where they can hang their dish towels from, pots and pans, but it does seem like a lot of work. I like it. If I was a person looking for a piece of furniture with a small car, I'd want to pick up this little ditty. You could do a lot with it. It could be like a little side table. I have a small bedroom. Maybe I'll flip it. Buy it for myself. If I had my 50% coupon, if I was smart, I would have uh, snatched this up because it's 13 bucks. I How can decorate this chair. That would be a good chair to turn. How much money is it? It's $4.99. I think that's too wobbly for me, Clara. Let's find something else. I think I can't go wrong with this chair. It's got a beautiful structure to it. I really love the shape of it, how easy it would be to flip a cushion like this. I just need a little bit of spray paint and a piece of material, plus it's only $4.99. It's $5 under budget. These bad boys. Thanks. If I did buy these, they're $2.99 each. That's a steal. This one looks good. There's no rust on the bottom. Pads on the bottom of these are missing. They'll probably scratch your floor up if you have like hardwood floors. What would intimidate me and not her would be these um, armrests right here. How, do you think, do you have confidence in yourself that you I could didn't at first. This thing in? At first I thought they were glued on, but since they're screwed on. Oh wow. You unscrew the armrests. It's as simple as wrapping a new piece of fabric around this darn oh, thing. Oh, I never would have noticed and that. Just screw it back in. Oh, Paula, I think this is a really well, good find. What me is this part. I mean, How would you? The back part. Oh, the back part. Never be done with the back part like this. I so. don't know. Do you think you can? There's tons of glues out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Let me get that pin number. <laughs> My form. My form. <laughs> Some dank fabric. <laughs> Sorry, ruined it. When you go to the store, you always go to the clearance section first because cheaper. That's why. But the pieces aren't as big as you'd hope because I got to do two chairs, back and bottom, and little side rests. This is not going to cover it. You can always look at sheets and blankets and even shower curtains or even curtain panels covering furniture because they're thick as all can be. And look, five dollars and forty cents for. 54 inches by 84 inches. That could cover a couple chairs. There's my little helper. This is how we're keeping the kids entertained. Thankfully, they had a stuffed okay, animal section, section here. What? what do you have, Hazel? It's Grumpy Cat. Let me see how grumpy he is. He looks like you. So cute. He looks like you. I'm trying to find a more of a bold, bold pattern <laughs> with lots of color. Maybe some crisp white. You don't want like the thin stuff when you're doing furniture. You want the thick, thick stuff. Llamas? Green llamas, blue llamas, orange llamas. And we could learn our colors with this. Pink llamas. Let's let him hold on to this because I think that's cute. Oh, how about this? I don't know. Ah, uh, darn it. A little Florida much. But um. 
Nothing is Florida. I like that better. Ooh. Can everybody ooh and all with me? Ooh. Ooh and all. Is it thick enough? Ooh. Yeah, it's like just as much as this stuff. <gasps> I love these. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it too risky? Nope. Nope, not at all. Look at those colors. It's like folk art. I might take a special person to want this. I am a special person then. Oh my god. I'd have to really perfectly put it on there, but I think oh. I'm in love with this fabric. I love it. You do? I love it. Okay, I'm down. I'm glad I have help today because I'd be here for probably like three hours and walk out with nothing. I wouldn't trust your help today though. We're your I competitors. Know. I know we're supposed to be. Why are we helping each other? <laughs> it's better to have company shopping. I think it's more fun. But I'm yeah. still gonna beat y'all. Gosh, I can't decide. This one's awesome though. Isn't it? More That's lighter. That's the one I'm leaning toward. Yeah, me too. More like a stained glass. Okay, here's some chrome. We could compare oh. chrome <gasps> to this. So I'm gonna pick up my bright white um, paint from my chair and then coming over here, I'm gonna, all I need is my, my glossy gold paint from the tips of my chair legs. So that'll be easy. Antique gold. I like the, the classic. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that one. Okay, cool. So I just need an associate to help me with the spray paint. I'm golden. Golden. Okay. Wait, if you're running around with kids, you lose track of stuff. What'd you just spend on fabric? I spent $11. Lucky duck. On fabric. For two chairs. Wish me luck. I think you're gonna win. I thought it'd be a lot more, but it's on sale, 30% off. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. Piece. A lot of back and forth went on in my brain on what to do with it. I was so indecisive about what fabric to pick. After all of that, ended up not using fabric at all. And I just ended up painting the darn thing. crazy, that blows my mind. You know, you've seen these tutorials online, how to paint fabric. I've never done it. This is my first time painting fabric. Okay. So I just used regular acrylic paint, came up with a design, penciled it in. So how'd you stop it from hardening up? Um, I didn't really. <laughs> But the way I tried to minimize it, like roughing up, I got a scrub brush. Uh -huh. And just between paint strokes, I just scrubbed the paint in a little bit. So hopefully getting the paint inside the fibers while keeping the fibers loose and soft as much as I, I could. I personally thought you pulled that off. I thought it was yeah. totally fine. And um, the, on video in pictures, the thing looks like actual yeah. cowhide. It's crazy. That's just the fun part. I love cowhide, but cowhide is so expensive. Even like yeah. cowhide uh, material, it's like, how much a yard? Like $18 a yard. So I'm like, I'm not gonna spend $18 oh, a yard on you. Now. I know, but if I can paint it, why not? The Western theme contrasting with the chrome pieces, I thought was pretty rad. You know what was super cool? Was that you, you had actual cowhide type fur on the arm. So it created that illusion that's that the whole, right. that the whole piece was. That's where I got my inspiration. I've been holding on to this little piece of uh, fur for the longest, for about three years. Everybody has their fabric stash. They love this piece of fabric. Yeah. They don't want to use it unless it's the absolutely perfect piece to use it on. So it's real fur, it's oh, no goat way. hide, so it's a small piece mm -hmm. of goat hide. And I'm like, what am I ever gonna use this for? I'm so glad I hung on to this for 20 years. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's in your cup? <laughs> What's in your cup? <laughs> Paula and I get really nervous when we, we post something for sale, right? And we make our pictures look awesome to get, you know, clickbait, to get someone to click on it, it sells the piece. And then when they show up, we get so nervous. We cross your fingers. It looks fabulous in the pictures. And when somebody comes in person, they could see everything clearly, oh. every little imperfection. Every imperfection. And if the color's a little off or it's not what they expected, it's nerve wracking, yeah. but um, that's one of my biggest fears for them to come in person and say, mm, never mind. Yeah. So what I do, and she cracks up at this, is I'll just put the piece in front of my door, 
with a note that says, you know, if you want it, you can put the money here and it's yours. And I just totally chicken out for, meeting, really it. for me even meeting them in person. And um, so far, so good. How about your chair? Yeah. Your chair was gorgeous. Yeah, I am. Your chair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank it looks you. so professional. Thank you. I was really cool. sad to see it go. Um, I got a lot of my inspiration online, like anthropology.com. There's a big trend in dipped chair legs, so I knew I wanted to do a dip. There's also a trend in gold and chrome. I didn't know if the gold paint would be too cheesy no. at the feet, but um, it, it did end up working okay. And um, I wanted to balance the whole piece by adding some of that gold around the back of my chair, which you saw there on the rectangle. Yeah. Um, I think it pulled it together nice. Um, my biggest risk was the print, but even though sometimes you feel like you are narrowing your buyer down when you do something so extreme with a choice, there's a buyer out there for any unique thing, right? And in my opinion, I sell stuff easier the crazier it looks because someone goes, oh my goodness, that is one of a kind, I yeah. gotta have that. If, if I don't get this chair, I'm yeah. never ever gonna find it again. Yeah. One of the easiest ways to totally flip something and make it look completely brand new is to reupholster the chair oh, yeah. base. It's so easy. It's like um, the dog. It's like a, kind of like wrapping up a gift or present. Yeah, like it's, it's that easy. Yeah. And it's no sew. No sewing involved at all. All right, I'm Susan. I'm Paula. We're the Babushka sisters. Nostrovia. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nostrovia? No.